management. There's a few things that you could do directly in the Explorer to go and manage some of your content. You can navigate down to, you know, your sites and then list and libraries. Up. Perfect. So when you get here, you are at the document level. So there's a few options that can help you manage those documents. You could check them in, discard a checked out version. You can clean the version history to remove some of those older versions that might not be needed and therefore limit what you need to migrate when you go about your migrations. What's also interesting it's a bit more of permissions management, but it's in order to still manage your content. And this is something that could be quite useful. You can break or restore inheritance, as you can see my mouse uh, moving on both to the, uh, right now, where uh, you know you can make sure that everything is restored. If you hit restore inheritance, you even get to uh, do it uh, recursively down to the all the folders and items levels, basically within your target so that you get that a simple way to restore inheritance where maybe there's been too many explicit permissions given or you just want to get rid of those by uh, and getting rid of the uh, maybe anonymous links by restoring inheritance back to the parent so that you have a better hold of your content. What gets interesting is that through a report you can also do something similar but across multiple locations. So that's where reporting becomes your sidekick into doing your content management because you could go to a custom report, create a new custom report where we say, for instance, documents where custom permissions is enabled. Then if I want, I could get additional information on those, but maybe I'm just looking to find all of that information. This is going to look at across all document libraries for those documents that do have broken inheritance. And from the results, let's say there's 25 or maybe a few hundreds, I could still go here and hit restore inheritance. So this way I don't need to navigate to multiple locations. I just run my report to find those documents, maybe across one or multiple site collections. And then I could do this. I could restore completely my inheritance. Or maybe I have a filter that's something very specific you're looking for because you need to get rid of files. Maybe you look at files that have not been modified in six months or even a year or maybe more. Well, you'll have that delete button available here. So you could do some cleanup across your environment by looking at documents that haven't been modified in a long time. Maybe they're no longer needed. So instead of custom permissions, I just could last modified date maybe is you know, older than, and then I could go maybe one year ago, save and continue. Uh, no, I don't need to save in this case, but you can if you're going to reuse this. And then again, I can navigate, pick a few sites. I have 96 results of documents that are older than a year, and I can select them all and delete them permanently. The red button will go to the actual delete. It's going to go to your recycle bin. So don't worry if anything, there's always the option to go and restore them from the recycle bin. And obviously, depending on what you're looking for and what you need to do, there's different actions. But I wanted to share that you could find those documents that have broken inheritance, restore, and that's across libraries. Same thing if you want to delete and maybe, you know, download those files. You have the option now so that I have, I'm looking for specific files. I don't necessarily want to download the whole library. I just want to download the ones that I was looking for. Uh, it does the same as downloading content from the well, content management does not necessarily require migration, but it still can use the migration features to help you out as you follow maybe some, you know, teams that merge or actually diverge or split into different departments and so on to just follow your business reorgs and what not, you know, businesses evolve quite fast. But when you go to your copy screen, copy structure and content doesn't need to be a full site, but it can be. So maybe you need a subsite that was under a specific department and that site for marketing now is no longer under revenue. It's under, I don't know, something. It became a department of their own. Well, you can move just these specific sites to new locations or move just the list and libraries that were specific to maybe a project that was in a site and move that to a different place. Copy content only also does the same, but looking at specific files. So there's a way for you to just move a few files or a few hundred files or maybe a few folders that encompass a lot of files from one location to another, be it maybe for an archive purpose or whatnot. So you do have a few options that are very simple to use to help you manage your content as it evolves along with your business.